Hi, my name is Chris Russell and I am the CEO of Plum Tree Realty. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to build your business through the principle of reciprocity. Okay, today I'm going to tell you about the principle of reciprocity. Maybe you've heard of this, maybe you haven't. The principle of reciprocity states that people are more likely to do business with you if you first give them something of value. Marketers have done research on this principle of reciprocity in a few different ways. For example, they did a study of candy stores and had someone standing at the door of a candy store welcoming people into the store. And then they did that for about an hour. But then they took another hour, but in addition to greeting the people as they came in the store, they would give them a free sample of chocolate when they came in. What did they find out? Well, you probably know that people who were given a free sample of chocolate actually bought 42% more than the people who were not given a sample. When people are given a gift, they inwardly feel a responsibility to reciprocate, to give something back to the person who gave them the gift. Another study had to do with playlands for children at fast food restaurants. People would come into these fast food restaurants and let their children play in the playland and they would eat their lunch or breakfast or whatever it was. But then when they were leaving the restaurant, they were given a balloon. Well, researchers got to thinking about that. What would happen if they were given the balloon when they entered the restaurant? Well, it turns out when they're given the balloon when they were entering the restaurant rather than when they were leaving, sales went up 27%. And surprisingly, the majority of sales that contributed to that were coffee. <laughs> Those weren't the kids that were making the purchase, it was the adults because the adults felt like when their children were given this gift, it benefited them. <laughs> so they were more willing to buy more at that restaurant. Another study had to do with servers, waitresses at restaurants. What they found was that servers who gave a thin mint at the conclusion of the meal, they gave that mint with the check, their tips went way up. But then they also found out that if the server would put a thin mint on the tray with the check, give it to the people at the table, and then turn back and say, oh, hey, and then they'd give them another thin mint, those people felt like they were being given a special gift. And so those tips skyrocketed for the servers. So the principle is this. People are more likely to do business with and to give more money to people from whom they've already received a gift. So as a real estate agent, I would encourage you to be a giver of gifts. Uh, there's a proverb that says, a giver of gifts has many friends. So of course we can give gifts like information and knowledge and reports and things like that. And that's good. That's great. I would never discourage that. Give those types of gifts. But keep in mind, those types of gifts knowledge and information doesn't really cost you anything. What's really significant is when you do something that actually is a sacrifice that you make for a client. For instance, if you're headed to a listing appointment or you're headed to an appointment to meet with some buyers, imagine the difference it can make if you call them ahead of time or text them and say, hey, I'm stopping by Starbucks on the way. Would you like me to pick you up something? People love getting these little gifts. I have literally spent years buying lunches for clients when we're out on the road looking for properties. I'll buy them lunch and they feel like, wow, Chris picked up the tab for our lunch. And because of that, I've almost never lost my buyer clients to other agents. So it's always good to be thinking of gifts that you can give to your clients or even gifts you can give to your clients' kids or even gifts you can give to your clients' dog. If you're going to a listing appointment and you know they have dogs, what if you put a few dog snacks in your pocket? There's a few restaurants in my area with a drive through that are looking to see if I have a dog with me when I go through the drive through and they love to give my dog a bone as well, a little treat. That gets my attention and I want to go back. Anytime I've got my dog with me in the car, I want to go back to that restaurant because I know not only are they going to take care of me, they're going to take care of my dog too love that. I love to do business with people who give me gifts. And I guarantee your clients do too. People love free stuff. So think about what is that free thing you can give to your clients today. 
We've got agents who work for our brokerage that give out free vacation vouchers if they can do a listing appointment or free vacation vouchers if a buyer will let them represent them in a real estate purchase. That's done through Marketing Boost. You can Google it, but it's a great way to spend a little bit of money and give out vacations for people who are willing to work with you. It's just an example of the types of gifts you can be giving your clients. I know some agents who give their clients a free book that has to do with real estate, maybe investing, or maybe how to sell a home or how to buy a home. It doesn't have to be an expensive gift, but when you bring gifts, it's going to build your business and secure your client's loyalty to you. So this week, think about how can you utilize the principle of reciprocity in your business. All right, thanks for watching this quick video. Please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and share the video on your own social media. Also, if you'd like to sign up for a free coaching session, hit the link below. I'd love to chat with you about how we can build your business. All right, go make some money.